Tonight, Sunbelt's chairman hits back, claiming a Bob Gibbs vendetta. A judge rules the war boys' children can stay together. And more money and a new name for Carrara Stadium. Good evening, I'm Cathy Burke. Welcome to Prime Gold Coast News. Rescue crews are on the scene of an aircraft emergency on a southern Gold Coast beach. Police and fire crews responded to an emergency call just before 5 o'clock this afternoon. The pilots of three ultralights had to, be, had to make forced landings due to bad weather. They came down safely on Palm Beach and it's believed no one was injured. The ultralights flying from Lismore to Stradbroke Island were at Jacob's Well when they were forced to turn back. The aircraft have just been cleared for takeoff after police finished their investigation. Prime Local News, live from our Southport studios. Coolangatta is it a pauper's paradise? Police gear up for New Year's Eve as Fisherman's Wharf calls last drinks. Steffi Graff, a no show for the Hope Island Classic. Good evening, I'm Diane By. Thanks for joining us. ...using Mr Bean for a babysitter? Find out what he's like at 8 o'clock. Then Whitney Houston stars in the Friday night movie, Waiting to Exhale. in Prime Local News, a funeral service for murdered Nara taxi driver Kevin Lester. A former Centrelink employee appears in court charged with fraud and the Teachers' Federation considers further industrial action. Good evening also tonight, a police hunt for a knife-wielding bandit following the robbery of a service station at Wollongong, the Illawarra Diggers' home to receive a $1 million facelift and we check out what's happening over the weekend in Prime Weekend. But first, more than 500 people have turned out to pay their last respects to murdered Nara taxi driver Kevin Lester. As family and friends said goodbye, police were canvassing Nara's CBD in the hunt for clues. Good evening, I'm Tom Hilston with tonight's regional news. Opposition leader John Howard says the government... Tonight, food drops for flood-stricken farming families as the damage bill soars. Calls for longer opening hours at several pools in the Cabon Shire. And the federal government's plan to combat childhood obesity under fire. Prime News with Rob Beaumont. Good evening. Also tonight, a man stabbed during a drunken brawl in Bathurst and a Boxing Day test with a difference in Dubbo. First tonight, helicopters have spent the day delivering emergency supplies to Canamble properties still isolated by floodwaters. Wild storms dumped record-breaking rainfall on the area. The damage bill to fix roads and the levee bank is likely to top $4 million and that's just for Canamble. Local News with Christy McPherson. Tonight, a flare blamed for a dramatic overnight fire in central Albury. Northeast homeowners reaping the benefits of a price boom, and the bandits named their new coach. Good evening. Also, tonight, a local store owner, the latest victim in a series of business burglaries, and Wangaratta saddling up for top rodeo action this weekend. But first tonight, a flare is being blamed for sparking a major blaze on Albury's Monument Hill, which fire officers say in different conditions could have spread to homes. The dramatic blaze swept to within 100 metres of one of the city's landmarks. This is what police and firefighters believe was caused by a fool who launched a flare. Last night's blaze could be seen from much of central Albury and even Wodonga. 
strong wind gusts pushed the blaze from where it began halfway up Monument Hill to near the car park at the top. Three trucks and a dozen firefighters were called to battle the blaze, which burnt about a hectare of native scrub. If this happens when the conditions are more conducive to a wildfire, we will see, you know, definitely devastation in these areas through fire. The fire brigade says last week's heavy rain meant green undergrowth slowed the blaze. If this situation had occurred a year ago, firefighters may have struggled to stop it spreading to homes on the hill. Residents reported seeing a flare above Monument Hill before the blaze began, and this canister discovered near the scene was handed to Albury Police today. If people are letting off those um, type of incendiary devices uh, inappropriately, certainly there are actions that we can take against them. It's irresponsible. I mean, uh, we're very fortunate that where the, the flare or the lock rocket has landed has been away from residential area. If it had landed another um, 100 metres the other side of the walking track up there, it would have been right in behind the homes and we would have had a totally different firefighting situation. Andy Anderson for Prime Local News.